On Sunday, October 16, 2005, my family and our friends took a vacation to Cancun, Mexico. It's right there. We plan to stay six days at the Moon Palace Resort, and because it's just south of the airport, we got a good view of the resort as we flew into Cancun. We heard there was a tropical storm building in the Gulf of Mexico, but at the time we had no idea that in a few days this resort would be hit by one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded. The next day the weather in Cancun was great. We were told the storm would turn before it reached the Yucatan Peninsula, so we set out to have some fun. Okay, tell me, are you having fun yet? Ron? Hola. Let the adventures begin. But by Wednesday night, we realized Hurricane Wilma was not going to miss us. During the night, the staff removed all of the lounge chairs from around the pool area. The waves are much bigger than they were last night, and they're coming all the way up on the shore with quite a bit of debris. So on Thursday, I tried to get us a flight home, but it was too late. The airport was closed, and we would have to ride out the storm. At this point, we don't know exactly what our plans are going to be, but we're making plans as if we were leaving. You can see there, the waves are very large off in the distance, but they're breaking and they're not coming in this way. Those are where the reef is. And Ryan also said that they were cutting coconuts out of the trees to keep them from being projectiles. They took us to the resort convention center along with 2,500 other guests. We were told the hurricane was now a category five monster and to prepare for the worst. The hurricane is located about 60 miles away from Cancun and it's moving six miles per hour, which is that in about 10 hours we're gonna be feeling the strongest part of the hurricane. Actually, right now, we're starting to feel all the hurricane winds. Uh, this is a shelter. This is not a five-star hotel. We can have pro uh, problems with diarrhea and vomit, and we can have a lot of problems. And uh, we don't want that. Our shelter was designed to withstand a hurricane, but we were just a few hundred yards from the beach, and the horrors of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans and Mississippi a few weeks before were fresh on everyone's mind. We were all scared. During the first part of the storm, the roof was damaged and began to leak. A lot. Water poured in from everywhere. Okay, the roof is leaking just next door here. We've had to evacuate our area because of water. People are using tables to push water back into the other room. The outer windows were smashed out and we lost power. A few people got hurt. We couldn't leave the building and only had one window to watch what was happening outside. Uh, 
the toilets stopped working and we had to use buckets of rainwater to make them flush. Let's see, we've got water all around and uh, it's all part of the survival part. We do have food and um, just continue to wait it out. Finally, after three long days, the storm passed and we got to see what happened outside. While we waited for the airport to reopen, we all pitched in to help clean up the mess. You think we'll go home tomorrow? I hope so. It's a pretty common thing you see around here. Nope, no signal yet. Because some people were getting sick, we took extreme measures to sanitize everything. After a day and a half, buses came on Tuesday to take us to an airport that was open. Well, we've been waiting on a bus for three hours now, and it hadn't gotten here. So we keep waiting. On our way out, we rode past the building we stayed in. And along the way, we saw some of the damage caused by the storm. After a nine hour bus ride and having to stay up all night, we bought the last tickets on a flight home. Wilma. Day. Actually, I guess this is, this is Wednesday now, so that's day seven, beginning of day seven. Wednesday, three seventeen. Wednesday, October 26th in Merida, Mexico, and we're hoping to catch a flight out at maybe about 10 from here to Houston to get us back stateside. Okay, we're inside. But only our friends and my wife and daughter got to go. My oldest daughter and myself had to find another way home. We're taking a Mexican standoff here. We're going to solve the problem. We've got people working outside for us to gather another 250 names on this. We're going to get an American company to send us back to the United States. You're telling me from the consulate office, the Americans are getting pushed aside so the British can come through. So they can get in and get out of here. Okay, but well, we've been here for five days. I know. Okay, just want to make sure that. Hey y'all, the Americans, the British are coming. We have to leave. We were tired and frustrated, but that afternoon we got a flight home, although we had to fly to Mexico City and spend the night. As we left, there were still people arriving at the airport, and the Mexican government brought in soldiers to keep the peace. Our friends and my wife and daughter finally got back home on Wednesday night. Well, it looks like we're headed home. 
Well, as people in Florida clean up from Hurricane Wilma, thousands of vacationers in Mexico remain stranded. One family from Alabama finally managed to fly out six days after the storm. Fox 6 reporter Sean L. Wright was at the airport when they landed. <laughs> Allison Pennington and daughter Audrey lived through the hurricane in Cancun. Now the storm of tears flow at Birmingham International Airport. It was like a miracle that we got on this plane. We just happened, uh, uh, you know, there were so many people, you know, everybody's families were booking them on planes and the towers were down. You couldn't get through on your singular phones. Arriving from a layover in Houston, the mother and daughter relived the nightmare of a family vacation that started out Sunday. And we went through water. You know, a four-hour trip took like eight hours. And there were, you know, you could see all the devastation. The two fortunate to leave the devastation behind, but that wasn't the only thing. The family got separated. That was real hard, leaving my husband and my oldest daughter, but hopefully they're going to be home tomorrow. So now the Penningtons will have to wait a little longer for the other two, but family members who sat here at home worrying say it's nothing like the waiting they've done the past few days. Okay, we're on our way back home. Okay. We will head back to Atlanta soon. Well, we're home. Well, almost. We're in the van. Allison left her car keys here, so obviously she hadn't been able to get around. Maddie has got her phone. She's it's been beeping with the messages received. Um, I thought I brought mine, but I'm not sure what I did with it. Maybe I left it at home because you know I was on vacation. Did we have fun? Sure. Would we go back? Sure. Would we go back during hurricane season? Never.